Hi, so today I want to show you guys how you can turn the latest version of Minecraft into a fantasy RPG game. I'm really happy about how this turned out, I think it's one of the best mod lists that I've come up with. With that being said, the mod list is quite long, there are in total 40 mods. So in this video, I will be putting those mods in two categories, essential and optional. If you have a decent PC that can run all those 40 mods, I recommend you to do so to get the full experience. But if you cannot, you can just install all those essential mods and it will work just fine. So yeah, I've been talking long enough and let's get into the video. So let's start off with some visual enhancement. The most obvious thing that I will install is a texture pack. Now this one is really up to your preference, I've chosen DokuCraft because it's quite performance friendly, but I would also recommend using Chroma Hills, it's another really good RPG style texture pack. But since there aren't too many performance enhancing mods in 1.16 Forge, I have decided to use a texture pack that is performance friendly. After the resource pack, I've installed 3 mods to enhance the visuals. They are enhanced visuals, needs, and shadows. These three mods alone make the combat visuals look 10 times better. As for the optional part, I will be using shaders. More specifically, I am going to install Soda's Vibrant Shaders. This shader provides really good graphics while having minimal performance impact. If you do decide to use this shader, I would recommend turning the brightness down while having the contrast all the way up. I think this makes the world look much more dramatic. Alright, so next up we have the music and sound. There aren't too many to choose from already, so I've chosen Ambient Sounds 3, Sound Filter, and Music Player. The first two mods changes how the world sound like in different areas, while the latter one allows you to play music in the game. All you have to do is to set up a playlist, and then add the songs from YouTube into Minecraft. The music will be streamed directly from YouTube so you don't have to download it. For me, I've chosen the RuneScape sound effects, but you can choose something else if you want. Alright, so next up we'll be installing some mods that changes the world generation. Since the theme is adventure and fantasy, the mods that we'll be installing will be centered around dungeons, castles, and caves. For the new dungeons, I've installed Dungeon Crawl and Dungeon Plus. For the castle and other structures, I've decided to add Valhousia structures and repurposed structures. As for the cave generation, I've chosen Yong's Better Cave, Extended Cave, and Yong's Better Mineshaft. These mods make adventuring in Minecraft so much more interesting, especially Dungeon Crawl and Dungeon Plus. These two mods really changes the game a lot. An optional mod would be all the biomes you will go. This mod adds over 70 types of new biomes. So although it's not exactly essential in this mod pack, it definitely spices up the game. So now we'll move on to the part that I'm most happy about, the mobs. Since the nature of an RPG fantasy game is for you to explore all the mobs that you can find along the way, I think it's best if I don't spoil anything. Instead, I'm just going to give you the list of mods that I used in this section. Firstly, to add new creatures into the game, I added the Chondra, Diabat, Greek Fantasy, God Villager, Hunter Illager, Ice and Fire, and Pandora's Creature. I know it sounds like a lot of mods, but no, it's actually a lot of mods, yeah, that's the whole point of this video. These mods in total will give you a total of 50 new creatures into the game. Most of them are really fun to interact with or fight with. Although I cannot exactly tell you what kind of mobs you will be encountering, I can tell you that there will be a lot of mythical creatures, maybe dragons even, that you will see in this game, so look forward to it. But to add on top of it, to improve all the existing mobs, I've added infernal mobs, improved mobs, progressive bosses, and spider 2.0. These mods will make changes to both the vanilla mobs and also the modded mobs. I can guarantee you that you will need to spend a lot of time to get bored of this mod pack. For the additional mods, we'll be adding Ram Roost, Risk of Rain, Anomolium, and Mutant Beast. These mods are not exactly essential to the mod pack, but it's really nice to have them installed. As you have probably guessed, the mobs in this mod list is really strong. So in order to fight against that, I've added several mods to improve the overall combat abilities of the player. Firstly, Elenite Dodge allows the player to make a dodge movement by pressing a key. After that, Offhand Combat allows the player to have a different cooldown for his offhand weapon. It means players can double their DPS by holding two weapons if they can time the attacks properly. After that, Level Hearts allow the player to upgrade the health bar by killing living things. 
the mod Lost Trinkets allow the player to obtain different kinds of trinkets after they finish different types of tasks in Minecraft. These trinkets will give players special effects such as blast protections. And lastly, Tetra allows the player to modify their weapons by putting the weapon in the workbench. With these mods installed, I think the player will at least have a chance to fight against those monsters. Alright, so lastly, we have the miscellaneous mods. The first mod in this category will be Cyrus Minimap. You can make waypoints with it, zoom in and zoom out. It's quite a useful mod. After that, we have Village Spawn Point and Regrowth. Village Spawn Point allows you to spawn in the village the first time you get into the world. The mod Regrowth allows villagers to grow their village slowly by putting fences around the village and set up pathways that they usually take. The mod Save Your Pet allows you to resurrect your pet by putting bandages over them. The mod Callable Horse allows you to call your horse around or even summon them from really far away. The mod Waystone allows you to teleport to other waystones when you are using a waystone. The last essential mod in the miscellaneous category is the Mine Colonies. This mod allows you to build your own village, cities, or even kingdoms. I have to save this mod for last because it really provides too much in the game. I don't really have time to go over how to use this mod right now, so I'll just link a comprehensive tutorial here. This is one of the best NPC mods out there and I'm just glad that it's available in Forge 1.16.3. One optional mod in this miscellaneous category would be the Artifacts mod. This mod adds multiple artifacts that you can only find in dungeons. Thus, it encourages you to actually explore the new awesome dungeons in this mod list. So yeah, that's all the mods in this list. Alright, so that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And if you did enjoy it, remember to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I make videos like this every week. And if this video hits 50 likes, I'm going to release the whole pack for you guys to download so you guys don't have to download each one of them individually. Alright, that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching and goodbye.